everybody welcome back to my channel today so today we're going in with these pretty blue and pink acrylic toes um i wanted to do the lighter pink against the blue today so and then i just threw that little cute little charm on there but yeah i'm gonna take you guys along the way so we're just getting right into it y'all so basically i'm filing off the shine on my nail but i do have a little bit of acrylic on here still but i don't know like it was I tried to do clear, but I didn't really like how it looked because I was going to do gel polish but to practice, but it just was not given. I need to practice gel polish on like nails because it was just upside down and it just was hard for me, so I just filed it down. But it's pretty much low. But yeah, but I am filing like my cuticle area and all that, just making it neat as possible. Then I'm just going straight away, I'm brushing right straight away with my no lift primer here and so these nails stay on as long as possible these acrylic toes will last you um minimum a month they should last you if they're not lasting then you need to look back into your prep and all that because if not they're not lasting then that's a problem because you know a lot of people say that their toes last this long minimum but then we're just going in with my um cover pink delia delia from my Kira Sky, and I'm just going it right in, y'all. I'm a little fast today. Oh, and this is in real time. I'm like, oh, because I was not playing games, y'all. I finished these this side of my feet in like 37 minutes. <clears throat> I said, you know what, girl, you need to start really working on your speed. Like, stop taking all day to do something so simple. Like, get it together. But yeah, I go on with my first B here, um, and then I place it in the middle. I do these my big toe beads and like two beads just to perfect it um i just be too scared like i did do it in one bead before but i just would rather i don't know i feel like it comes out neater for me maybe in the future i'll do it in one bead but um you know for right now i like how it comes out with the two beads but yeah y'all so then i'm just going in right here with my cuticle oh no i'm not oh i didn't tell totally it i'm perfecting the shape more because it's looking a little like Bok bulky on the sides but then we're going in here with my cuticle bead and yeah you want to make sure like that bead is not too wet but that's what i'm saying y'all really gotta practice your liquid to powder ratio if it's too wet because y'all see how it just goes right where it needs to go and it stays put because i've got down pat my liquid to powder ratio um but yeah y'all that's not really it i'm just gonna continue to go on follow along with the rest of these toes now for these little mini toes I'm just going with one bead one little thin layer of acrylic will do just fine i don't like my toenails um i don't like my acrylic toes to be too thick i like to prefer them on the thinner side so they look as natural as possible but as y'all can see this bead was a little bit too wet so i just was just not even really touching it yet so much i just letting it set for the most part i was just touching it slightly until i could feel like that oh, okay it's starting to get starting to cure here But yeah, y'all, y'all just want to, and I'm just forming it into that square shape. Um, yeah, and then that was, that was pretty much it for that toe. For my third toe, it was pretty, um, good. This one, I know one of these beads was pretty runny. So I was like, dang, I was wiping off like a lot of acrylic. I don't know, I think it was the next toe. I don't think it was this one. Cause this one seems to be flowing where it needs to flow but yeah you guys you want to make sure you touch the platen acrylic from sidewall to sidewall and the, the top of the nail as well you want to blend that to be a natural nail just so that it's stuck to it <laughs> girl stuck to that joint like glue but yeah y'all i'm just forming that and i'm just getting off the sides because i did it got a little flooded the, the sidewall just slightly nothing too crazy but yeah, then I just flatten the tip to the edge of the nail 
to make it square and then I'll just go underneath to make sure I don't have enough because it's going to be pretty hard if you do and then you see how I seen it's a little bit too thick so then I go and flatten it up a little bit more towards the free edge yeah on to the next nail so yeah this one was real runny y'all this joint look at that joint running that joint running girl <laughs> That joint running, that, look at that, but I swiped most of that off. Say, so, girl, what's happening to you? Oh, the hot mess. I said, girl, get off there. I don't know why. But, you know, these baby toes, you really just literally, literally only need a little bit of acrylic, y'all. <clears throat> because, girl, that joint is running, off, running away from me, girl. Mm-hmm. Now we are on to the last pinky toe here and I just same method just make sure you're working with it but y'all can see what I'm seeing like I see it's still a little bit wet so you can't really do much when it's wet you want to let it mold to be able to be formable so you want to just play with it see test it out see what's wet and not what not and yeah I go sidewall to sidewall with these. And that's about it. That one, I, it didn't really need much work. I probably am going to go clean it up a little bit because it is running. But that's because my foot is not angled down because I can't angle my toes down. I just can't. Even with trying to show y'all, but even in general, I need to see what I'm doing. So that's harder for me. Or doing it on yourself. <laughs> but then, yeah, I just, I just go right in with filing. So y'all can see, like, my big toe and my other toe next to my big toe my second toe was ready to be filed but the other toes still was not ready to they were not dry y'all i'll be impatient because i'm like okay as soon as i'm done i want to get into filing sit on the cuticle but i do have to wait especially with it being colder like it takes a little bit more to longer to set which is pretty annoying because i don't be having time to wait girl but like y'all can see it's a little bit of softer file but i still was like i don't have time for this but yeah, y'all should wait the full. I mean, it didn't normally take like 10 minutes for it to really harden all the way. It probably was only like five. <laughs> so yeah, y'all, I was being a patient girl. I went and sat in your heater, like, I said, because girl, you take up all day. Yeah. But yeah, guys, I'm excited. I, I recorded like four videos. Wait, no, I did one. I see. I did one, two, three, four, five. I recorded five videos today in one day. And I timed myself, and that took me, like, four and a half hours, like, for my feet, my one hand, left hand shorties, and then my other right hand, I did some extendos, um, and then I did, like, some other videos. Y'all, talk about working on your speed, girl, that was fast, if you ask me, making five videos for y'all, period, okay? But, yeah, y'all, so, okay, let's see. Let's get back into that. So, yeah, y'all, you know, right here, I'm using my 8080 file from Kara Sky. And I just filed the sidewall so they're nice and crispy. And, um, yeah. But y'all can see, like, it's too soft. This third nail is too, way too soft to file. So, I am going to just go ahead and start sealing the cuticle on my other toes just because it wasn't ready yet to be really worked on. See that? Yeah, so, yeah. But, yeah, when you seal in the cuticle, you just want to... Um, have it flush as possible to the natural nail um and then i do debolt these nails a little bit my speed on this sanding fine sander it's a fine sanding band too the speed is like on a six at a speed of six rpms on my kira sky drill so yeah you know just learn how to work your drill learn what speed was too fast too slow you know but this speed works really good for me. But as y'all can see, I'm filing more at the free edge just so I don't have um, it looking too thick. And then I will go underneath as well. But like I told y'all, I did have some clear acrylic on my toenails as well. So that's why it's a little bit thicker, but not too bad. Because I didn't want to file it all the way off and then 
have maybe possibly damage in my natural nails my natural toenails so I just left that thin layer on there so yeah but yeah y'all and then I when I'm filing these I file it till the whole nail is like pretty much filed like white and then the whole you don't see many more, like dead spots that's how you're smooth enough <coughs> but yeah you guys so yeah I just do that for the rest of the toes and that's about it. I'm testing it to see right here if it is dry, cured enough. I don't know what it is. Is it called cured? I don't know what it feels like, but girl, is this dry or what? I can tell it's not. I feel like this toe was still like getting on my nerves. I'm just oh see, because look, I took a chunk off. But girl, I was not worried about that because I know I was going up with these French tips. I was so mad when that happened. And I don't even be rough too. That's why I was like, dang. But see, that's what happens when you do apply thin acrylic. Like, if you want to make it thicker, just a tad bit thicker. Don't be having so much thick toenails, y'all. But just because for the purpose of filing, but that normally don't happen to me. But I was so mad that that happened. I said, oh, oh okay, girl. So then I went back over here because I'm like, girl, you want to play around with me and not try. But, yeah, y'all. <laughs>
then I just go in with my some alcohol and then this little um, nail brush and I just get right off the remainder dust on my toes I get underneath really good I just clean them really good and prep to prep them for um polish and then I do show you how to polish it's called you make me melt but y'all I didn't buff my nails like I did buff them but y'all about to see that I'm about to come in here and buff them I'm because I'm sitting here like girl you didn't buff them see right there after I cleaned them but it's okay I remembered because <laughs> I'm like wait hold up girl and I'm missing a step but yeah y'all so you do want to make sure you're buffing these nails smooth really smooth and then you can clean them off so that I'm going to be cleaning them twice because you know the buffing does make them a little dusty ashy dust everywhere you know but yeah this is my favorite step like I actually I love buffing the nails smooth like I'm just feeling my nails on my um hands they is just and I because I didn't polish them or design them yet and they just the last step I did was buffing them. they're just so smooth like that's my favorite part It really is just my favorite part, but yeah, y'all. So now after that, um, after cleaning them, then we can get into the artwork. So I'm just using my <clears throat> Listonian brushes, art brushes, and then the gel polish. I do do two coats. I don't show you guys that I do two coats just because I feel like it was overkill going over it again. But just so y'all know, I do do two coats of this French tip right here. I put my French tips a little bit thinner, but now looking back, looking down at my soles, like I do wish it was a slight bit thicker just so you could see it better. Not better, but a little bit more. Um, on my big toe, but <coughs> it's all right, y'all. I wasn't really tripping about it. Um, yeah, so yeah, but yeah, yeah, you just want to take your time. Um, and yeah, move slow, like just practice. If you struggle doing like artwork and stuff like that, just practice. That's all you really gotta do. But it will work. Okay, I'm telling you. Like, my French tips used to be looking crazy. But after a while, like, it just come natural to you. Like, seriously, if you practice a little bit so much. And that's what people be wanting, too, nowadays, girl. Like, a lot of people, that's all they be really wanting is French tip, girl. So, I'm sure you could get in that practice in this case. But yeah, and then I threw on like a little cute little boo charm. Um, it is so cute. Like, I seen this actual, actually, I seen this look. I need to tell y'all inspiration. Who did I get this from? Where is the picture? Oh, oh, oh. These are so cute. I said, oh, yeah. Let me find a picture right now and tell y'all who I found this look from. It was from off of Instagram, of course. But her name was Morgan. Morgan nailed it. These are so cute, like, yeah. There's, and she used the cross, but I didn't want to use the cross. I liked it, the charm, blue charm that I used. I don't really know what that is, but I don't know. It just gives me, like, Roman back in the day times. I don't know. But, yeah, y'all. Just file. I said file. <laughs> Uh, flow. I don't know why I said file. Just go with the flow, like take your time. And these little baby toes really be on my nerves real bad. And but as I do can see, I don't put on separators because I don't have time for that, y'all. They get on my nerves. They hurt my toes. Like uh -uh, they hurt me. Uh -uh. But yeah, I'm just using my McCart rhinestone glue gel, whatever. It's gel. Uh, what is it called? I don't know, I'm, I feel like getting up. But yeah, y'all, I'm just used to doing that and then grabbing my little charm here. 
and then sticking it on. It kept, girl, y'all don't know the process I had to deal with this time. It was falling off, it fell off the wax pencil. I was like, girl, just forget it. But yeah, y'all, okay, dang, we moving fast, girl. This joint was quick. But okay, y'all, I'm doing a top coat. So okay, y'all, if y'all enjoyed this video, comment down a blue heart. So I know you stay to the end of this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. Comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you enjoyed this content, if you want to see more content, don't forget to do all those things. And I love you guys so much, and I shall see y'all in the next video. Thank you.